Greetings to the students of class 5. Welcome to your online math class. Dear students, we are starting chapter number 10 data handling and today we shall study about pictographs. So let's begin. Dear students, how many of you like to eat green vegetables? And how many of you like pulses? This data of your class can be organized in the form of a table that you have already studied about in your previous class and the same data can be represented in the form of pictures or symbols. Here, one such symbol is equal to one student because the information depicted through pictures or symbols is easy to understand. Therefore, in our daily life, picture graphs are very convenient to represent data let us learn to draw a pictograph with the help of an example. Let us look around this garden. There are 5 bees, 6 ladybugs, 3 butterflies and 2 frogs. Their number can be represented on a pictograph using a symbol. We will draw one circle to show one animal. To show the number of bees, we will draw 5 circles. For ladybugs, we'll draw six circles. For butterflies, we'll draw three circles. And for frogs, we'll draw two circles. Here we have shown data horizontally. The same data can be represented vertically. For that, let us write name of animals on one axis and their numbers on other axis. We'll take one circle equal to one animal. And as we did earlier, using this symbol will represent number of animals vertically. Title of the pictograph tells what data is being depicted. While making a pictograph or while reading it, scale is very important. In this example, we have limited data. So we took one circle equal to one animal. But if the figures increases, we can increase the scale as well. For instance, the table shows the sale of number of cars in 5 different cities. Here, the figures are multiples of 100. Therefore, we can take a scale where one picture is equal to 100 cars. So students, 600 cars sold in Khanna city will be represented with six symbols where one symbol is equal to 100 cars. 300 cars sold in Patiala city will be represented with three symbols. 400 cars sold in Bathinda city will be represented with four symbols. Similarly, for 200 cars we we'll use two symbols and for 500 cars we we'll use five symbols. Which city has the highest sale? Which city has the lowest sale? And the comparison of two cities. All such information can be easily derived from the above picture graph. Now, let us solve question number 2 of exercise 10.1. Here we are given a pictograph which represents number of children who visited circus from Monday till Friday. And we are also given a scale where one joker is equal to 25 children. Based on this picture graph, we'll answer the following questions. First question is, how many children visited circus on Tuesday? When we look at the picture graph, three symbols are used for Tuesday. 3 into 25 is 75. Therefore, 75 children visited circus on Tuesday. Next question is, which day had most children and how many? It is clear from the picture graph that on Thursday, maximum children visited circus. Here, 8 symbols means 8 into 25 that is 200. Therefore, on Thursday, 200 children visited the circus. Question 4 is, how many total number of children visited the circus 
on Monday and Wednesday. Total symbols used for Monday and Wednesday are 7. 7 into 25 is 175. Therefore, total of 175 children visited circles on these two days. Last question is, what is the difference of number of children visited on Thursday and Friday? On Thursday, 200 children visited the circus and on Friday, 6 into 25 that is 150 children visited the circus. Therefore, the difference in number of children is 50 children. So students, today we have learned to draw and to read a pictograph. So for your homework, you will attempt first three questions of exercise 10.1. Thank you so much.